Hi guys, how are you? Good evening. Uh, actually, we have already finished the first one for what is WPSL picker, the part one. So today we will go the part two. This is actually a huge subject for WPS. So we cannot finish in uh, maybe two, three, four. It will go like that. So today we will we'll show the welding how to prepare the WPS, how to write the WPS. So uh, this is welding procedures qualification. WPS is welding procedure qualification. What is the same thing I am telling again to remember, remind again primary purpose of the procedure qualification to verify compatibility of material and techniques to result in a sound weld with acceptable mechanical properties. So WP is qualified by mechanical testing. It is it is correct because we already told before that first we have to make the preliminary WP after that PQR it to be completed, then if you PQR result is okay, then it will be the final WP will be done. So WP is based on the PQR, the final WP is if PQR is okay, mechanical testing. So WP is qualified by mechanical testing. PQR is documentation to prove that a weld can be made using the procedure and have acceptable mechanical properties. So in PQR, what are the values are there in mechanical test or chemical composition, whatever is there, man, uh, NDT, so all these things, if it is okay, then the final WPS can prepare and that WPS will be used at site. So how to qualify the welding procedure? How? So five step to pro five step process to qualify the welding procedure. First is understand the intended application for which the WPS will be used. So first we need to check the which WPS we need to use here. It is for CMW, it is for SMW or GTW, which procedure we need to follow. So we need to check for to understand first. How to understand? We have to check the drawing. In drawing, which material is there? In which material, which drawing it will be applicable? So all these things will be engineering first confirmed. After that, we will make the WP. Second is develop the draft procedure. We need to draft one procedure develop. Make a qualification weld means you have to make the pick where for this test the qualification weld after qualification we have to make the test and then write the final WPS so this is the five point is very important for five step process to qualify a welding procedure understand the intended application for which the WPS will be used understand the intended application for which WPS will be used which application and which WPS will be used. Things to know prior to qualifying a welding procedure. Know the application for the welding procedure. What welding processes are going to be used during the construction? This is the main thing. What welding processes? Who will confirm? So this we need to know. What material are going to be used during construction? The types and grade, the thickness of each material, are there dissimilar oil including oils between different PO number? So these things we need to know. So the WPS when we prepare before that we need to check the drawing in the drawing which type of fillet is there in which type of fillet is there and which type of group is there in that basis we make to prepare the WPS. As for the ASME section 9 we have to check there in the WPS sample and WPS design how to uh, as per the design uh, drawing what is approved from the engineering and we have to make as per this WPS. It is very clear. So know the application for the welding procedure. What welding process are going to be used during construction and what material are going to be used during construction. Which material process and what materials are needed. In that basis we have to select some by electrode and all these things. Understand the internet application for which the WPS will be used. Know the design requirement for the application. What are the design requirements? Does the design require the specific material toughness requirement? There is any impact or toughness requirement is there? So we need to check. If there is any impact toughness requirement, we need to go the impact test. Example develop a draft procedure application. So we give today one example how to develop a draft procedure qualification. If it's not 
will be the accurate chart i am giving one example from qw from starting to end so just to make a gtw gmw qualification weld this is 0.75 inch a 36 a36 flat material 0.675 inch the thickness so just assume this gtw we are we are going to gtw gmw qualification we need to do so there is a plate is 0.75 inch a36 flat material this is the position is flat position for uh, gmw we use the er70 sc electrode and um, was used and uh, er80 s2 d2 electrode was used for gtw we are used these two gmw and gtw so it's different uh, electrode no preheat for or pwhd this is the normal requirement for gtw gmw qualification oil. Uh, for just giving one example procedure qualification record need to address the welding variable to each welding process so each welding process there is the procedure qualification record as part of the qw so we need to discuss now from starting qw so there is a sample gtw weld procedure variable there, there is the essential variable supplementary essential and then non-essential variable is there yeah, we already told the essential, non-essential, and supplementary variable already discussed in previous uh, videos. So this is holding procedure variable specification for GTAW is you have to go there QW ask me section nine QW two fifty six. You can understand that QW four zero two four zero three four zero four 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 zero five. All this is mention is here. So I'll go the details in the next on the next page. GNR, GMAW weld procedure variables you can check the ASME section 9 table QW 255 it's also mentioned same QW uh, 402 403 404 what is this all these things 402 joint 403 base metal 404 pillar metal 405 position 406 preheat so all these things I will discuss on the Page. you see procedure qualification just giving one example here how to write the what is the what is the trap copy this you can tell the trap copy of procedure qualification record when you finish the all the test record you have to prepare here all this input and after that we need to prepare the WPS final WPS Procedure qualification joint variable. What are the joints variables are there? So I told you QW now starting from the QW 402. This is QW 402 is joint. So in joint, if you see the graph 0 0.1, 0 0.4, 0 0.10, 0 0.11. So in point one, what is this group design? Point four is the baking material. If point one zero is uh, root spacing, point one one is the retainer. So joint variable are the same for GTAW and GMAW. There is a no essential variable. All are the non-essential variable. If you go QW for your two one point one group design was a V group with a forty five degree included angle. Means what is this? So group design. What is group design? Group design was a V group. There is a V group with a forty five degree included angle. So we have done. This is one example. I am telling. This is one example. I am giving to you. This one we have done before. This is one W question. We have we have we was there before B group and 45 degree included angle. 402.4. There was a baking bar used. We have used the baking bar. Baking bar means some of the joint design is there is the backing is required. Is GTAW and GMW. Otherwise, your root will not be proper. QW 402.1.0. The root spacing was 180 inch already mentioned in the first page the qw that is qw for the, uh, the root spacing was 180 inch. 180 inch i will tell you now where i'll show it to you this is Uh, the root spacing was 180 inch. The root spacing was 180 inch, and the QW402 1.11 non metallic or non functioning retainer were not used. We cannot use this one. Non metallic or non functioning retainer were not used. So, it, it, this one we didn't use. This is procedure qualification joint variable. 
so everything i am going to example so the value is coming from where it's don't think this one just i am telling i am giving example for all these act all these values is 0 0.125 0 0.75 45 degree so if you go the procedure qualification join variable to the second page is a speak word number wps number is mentioned date is mentioned where welding process is gtaw and gmaw both type is manual automatic or semi-automatic so which type we are using this is manual joint is qw402 how to prepare the joint if you say this is the baking strip here you see the baking strip in the root is mentioned the gap is 0.125 inch and the 45 degree angle and 0.75 inch is the thickness so the old or both gtw and gmw with one for one fourth inch deposited with gtw and half inch deposited with gmw procedure qualification base metal variable so this is joint is finished joint is qw402 so qw qw403 is the base material 0.5 is group number this is non supplementary ssl and and point one point eleven is P number qualified is essential variable. So if there is essential variable change anything, so we need to qualify the procedure. QW four zero three point five and QW four zero three point eleven material was a thirty six plate, yes, which is P number one and group number one material. So QW four zero three five and QW four zero three point eleven is material. This is the actual material group number and P number. The material was a 36 one plus p number one and group number one are the same material table qw 422 issue 36 uns number and p number one group number one what nominal composition is mentioned carbon mangan silicon product from which form from where we got this uh, sa 36 plate bar or sets set qw 403 base metal 0.6 0.8 0.9 0.10 0.6 is T limits, T qualified, T pass a half inch more than half inch T limits. So this is 0 0.8, 0 0.9, and 0 0.10. If there is a uh, changing anything, this all are essential variable. And T limits is a supplementary essential. If there is a supplementary essential, also this is the requirement the pre So QW403.6, right? And 10. Material thickness was 0.75 inch, is correct. Uh, 403.9 no single oil pass in the qualification weld was greater than half inch no single oil pass there is no single oil pass should be done in the qualification weld was greater than half inch half inch no single quality no single oil pass it cannot be do welding for more than half inch so gmw welding gmw welding 403 base metal you see metal specification is a 36 type of plate not applicable p number one group number p number one p number two one two p number one thickness of test coupon three by four inch other is sa 36 does not come in different gates the old was made in a plate so diameter does not apply so diameter will not be applicable here all passes were less than half inch thickness QW 404 is filler meter 0 0.3, 0 0.6, 0 0.23, 0 0.3 is size, 0 0.6 is diameter, and 0.23 is filler metal product form. So 0.23 is essential, and 0.3 and 0.6 is a not essential. If you go for QW 404 as in section 9, you can understand. So QW 404.3 is GTAWR diameter was 18 inch. So we use GTAWR diameter, it was 18 inch at the root gap. So, uh, uh, as per the root gap with select on the diameter, it was over 18 inch. QW 404.6, the GMW electrode was diameter 0 0.035 inch GMW only. And QW 404.23, solid are used. So, which filler metal product from the product from where 0.23 is solid or we use the solid wire. QW404 filler metal 0.4. This is the F number. The uh, QW404, the welding wire was ERAGS2 SD2 for GTW and ERAS6 for GMW. As me section 2, SFA 5.2, it specifies low alloy steel electrode for gas welding 
and as means xn to si by 5.8 specified carbonyl excess for gas it means gas filled at welding for g and w we specify there is a specific pillar analysis 5.18 and for gtaw for low alloy steel electrode we use the 5.28 specify 5.8 so refined material different filler metal analysis as per as means xn as per as means xn2 sorry So F number six, you can see QW 432 is mentioned table. F number six, F number six, this is SA 5.2, both are F number six. But as much specification is different, SFA 5.28 and SFA 5.818. So SFA 5.28 for low alloy steel electrode and 5.18 is for carbon steel electrode. So procedure qualification is the filler metal variables. Uh, the QW4 filler metal 0.5 is E number. So QW4015 the welding wire was ER80SD2 for GTAW and ER70SF for GMW. Same as me section to specification apply to determine chemistry table QW442. So if you see the chemical composition is different, this uh, carbon steel electrode and this one there for low alloy steel electrode. Here it it is for SFA 5.818 manganese molybdenum and mild steel. If you see here 706 SFA 5.18. So every everywhere if you see the chemical composition carbon chromium molybdenum nickel manganese and silicon is different. QW404 filler metal 0 0.12, 0 0.14, 0 0.33, 0 0.50. So only they had SUC 0 0.14 is the essential variable, 0 0.12 is the supplementary essential, and 0 0.33 and 0 0.50. What is 4.12? 0 0.12 and 4.33. The wire classification was this is the classification. What classification means wire classification or ER80SD2 for GTAW and er 70 s for GMW. QW404 Filler metal were used, CTAW and 404.4. No flux was used. Flux, there are, we, we didn't use any flux on this show because some of the WPs for GMW we use flux. Particular for this, I am giving all the impulse for this WPs, but flux sometimes used in the other WPs. QW4.22 is consumable insert, 0.24 is supplemental. 0.27 is alloy elements, 0.30 is T, 0.30 is T limits. QW404.22 known consumable insert was used. Okay. GTAW only. QW404.24 and 4.27 no supplementary filler metal was used. So variable does not apply. So variable is not does not apply. QW404.30 and QW404.32 oil thickness was 1 4 inch for GTAW and half inch for GMW. So why I am telling all this description because you should know what is alloy element, what is T, what is T limit. So procedure qualification of filler metal variables. Filler metal QW404 SFA specification SFA 5.28 for GTAW SFA 5.18 for GMW. Okay. SFA 5.8 for, for GMW. Okay. SFA specification is SFA 5.28 for GMW. It's already explained. AWS classification ER80. This is SFA specification, specific filler analysis. And AWS specification classification is ER80 SD2 for GTAW, ER70 SF for GMW. Filler metal F number is 6 for GTAW and GMW for both same. Well metal analysis number A11 for GTAW and 1 for GMW. You can go. Yes, this section 9 is there mentioned. 
Size of pillar metal is 1 8 inch for GTAW, 0 0.03 inch for GMW. Full metal thickness is uh, four, one, four, uh, 1 4th inch for GTAW, half inch for GMW. So from this value I am telling, this value I am telling, you can check from the section I am taking from there for explaining. QW404 is finished. Now QW405 is position 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3. 0 0.1 is position, 0 0.2 also position, and 0 0.3 is vertical welding. So 0 0.2 is supplementary essential, and 0 0.1 and 0 0.3 is the non essential variable. Non essential variable is known with requirement if there is a change. QW405.1, 5.2, and 12.3 be weld was made in the flat position. So all is related with welding, all is related with the position. UW405 is old position and group flat, old progression not applicable. Relevance of preheat variable depend on the process. QW406 is preheat. 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3. 0 0.1 is the essential variable, 0 0.2 is the not essential, 0 0.3 is the supplementary. So QW406.1 and QW406.0 no preheating was used during cauliflower. Also, in particular in WP, it is WP, we did not no preheating. So, that's 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 uh, this is the so description uw406.3 maximum interstitial temperature was 450 degree fahrenheit so we measure the interstitial temperature it is the 450 degree fahrenheit and free temperature is the ambient is 70 degree fahrenheit interstitial so maximum interstitial temperature is the maximum interstitial temperature is the minimum preheat temperature so, I have to know maximum interface temperature is minimum pre temperature. Procedure qualification is PWHT variable. PWHT variable are the same for GTW and GMW. So, QW407, PWHT 0.1, 0.2, 0 0.3. PWHT, QW407 is PWHT is essential a variable. Okay, QW407 heaven to and no PWH2 during qualification. So, it is not used everywhere in the pre qualification. Some of the thickness, if it is more than from 20 or 25 mm, then only need the pre, uh, PWHT. I will discuss later in this because this is the procedure qualification. So you should know the QW, what are the variable, what are the essential non essential. Procedure of QW407 is temperature, non, time, non, other, no PWHT was used during qualification. Procedure qualification is the gas variable are the same for CTW and GMW. QW408 gas. 0 0.1, 0 0.5, 0 0.9, 0 0.10. 0 0.1 and 0.10 is no trial seal gas used, and Q408.5 and 9 is no backing seal to gas used. So we didn't use any gas variable on the seal We didn't use any gas. So this is very essential variable. Backing or composition. It is the essential variable. Uh, if it is sealed gas used. And seal gas, if you are changing the sealing gas, then you need to do the qualification again. QW408 is gas. Single or flow rate is single mixture or uh, percentage is essential, very essential. Or flow rate is non essential. Flow rate, you can change the flow rate, but single mixture, if you want to change the mixture, is the carbon or argon something, there is a mixture, so you have to change the need to. Requalification again. QW408.2 hundred percent argon filling gas was used for GTW and 75 percent argon 25 percent CO2 was used for GMW. So for filling in our GTW 100 percent argon can use and 75 percent argon 25 percent CO2 as for GMW. This is the normal practice. QW408.3 if you go 15 to 25 CAP shielding gas flow rate was used for GTW and 25 to 35 CAP shielding gas flow rate was used for GMW. Procedure qualification gas video shielding show gas mixture flow rate. Gas is GTW argon is 100% mixture, 100% argon, GMW argon CO2, 75% argon, 25% CO2. 
Total it is going to 15 to 25 for argon and 25 to 35 cf is for zero double. So this is QW408. Residue qualification electrical characteristics. It is 4W9. The electrical characteristic heat input is a supplemented essential point to the transfer mode, which transfer globular or pulse transfer. Uh, 3 is pulsing qw for qw409.1 is the maximum how to how to heat input how to calculate so we need to know heat input the maximum heat input was 45 kilojoule per inch h i a kilojoule per inch that is that what is the basic formula this is the ampere ampere into voltage by travel speed in into 60 by 1000 this is the heat input formula qw409.2 is gmw transfer mode was globular transfer mode so this is i will i will discuss in particular procedure particular procedure is after what is smw welding is to, to discuss what are the uh, what are the things are there we need to check for uh, SMW welding, GMW welding, and T welding? QW409.3 pulse mode GTAW was not used. GTW, we didn't use the pulse mode here. GW transfer only globular mode you use for GMW welding. So, pulsing is non essential variable, heat input is not supplemented essential, and the transfer mode is very important. This is the essential variable if you need if you change the your transformer then you need to the qualification again point 0.4 point 0.8 point 0.12 point 0.4 is the current or polarity point 0.8 is the key range tungsten electrode point 0.12 is the tungsten electrode so these three is point 0.4 is essential supplementary essential and non essential both point 0.8 and point 0.12 is the non essential point, point 0.8 and point 0.12 is the non essential so QW409.4 GTW weld was made using direct current with electrode positive polarity and GMW was made during current on the electronegative polarity. So DC EP is there and DC NP is there. Negative polarity is there, DC and positive polarity is there. So we can use we can use the GTW is uh, uh, negative positive polarity and the GMW is the negative polarity. Q409.8 GTAW weld was made using 175 to 175 to 200 amperes and 10 to 14 volts and the GMW was made using 170 to 200 amperes and 22 to 25 volts it is whatever we have did these values I am telling to you from the starting from QW402 to 409 it was made by it was at the time of peak wear. QW409.12 the tungsten was 2% serrated and with a 18 inch diameter GTAW only. Procedure qualification electrically 409 current is direct current, polarity is EP, positive polarity, and the EN is negative polarity is GMW. Ampere 175 to 200 for GTAW, 170 to 200 for GMW. Volt is 10 to 14 for GMW and 24 to 28 for GMW. Tungsten electrode size is 1 inch diameter, other is 1 maximum heat input was. So, these all information we need at the time of peak wear. QW410 is the technique 0 0.1, 0 0.3, 0 0.5, 0 0.6. That is all are non essential variable. So, if there is a change in anything from in the in the peak wear, so in the WPS, do not need to requalification. 401.1. If you GTAW and GMW weld was made, you use stranger bits. There is no weaving bits, stranger bits here there. Point three is the GTAW weld was made with a 5.8 cup size and the GMW weld was made with a 1 inch nozzle size. Okay, so what if it's come? From where it is climbed, what it is coming? So on that side, there's the cup size, one is the nozzle size. 4.0410.5 cleaning was done with a wire brush. How you will do the cleaning? after welding in the interface cleaning QW410.6 no back gouging was performed okay there is no need back gouging if there is a double beam only need back gouging 
you have to put the 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.10, 0.11, 0.7 is the old was main manual weight. Okay, non dispensable weight. Point eight. A CTWD of half inch to three four inch was used. GMW welding is not essential due to work distance. Multiple to single pass. Multiple to single pass side. This is supplementary essential. Multiple passes per side were deposited. QW four one zero point one zero. If it is single or multiple electrodes, this is a supplementary essential. And QW four one zero point one one. The weld was made outside the chamber. GTW one. Point one five, point two five, point two six, point six four is a Q four one zero. Four one zero point one five is a only a single electrode had used. Electrode spacing. How many electrode used? Single electrode. Four one zero point two five. The old was made manual weld. Four one zero point two three. No pinning was used. Four one zero point six four. No thermal processing was used. So why they mention only the there is the electrode spacing? Otherwise we use the we see that. Electrode using one or single, so why they use this electro spacing? Because some of the if you go the pipe manufacturing plant, there is one at, at the at the same time we are using at the root and uh, the same electrode it is coming one is it is going to root, then interpass, then is the final. Those three types of electrode use from the in the pipe plant if you see pipe manufacturing plant. Procedure qualification electrical kind of travel speed it is the gist one travel speed one to five ipm stringer or with beef stringer bit oscillation no oscillation single pass per side multiple pass per side single electrode other is no pinning ctwd cleaning etaw was we have five point eight in cleaning with wire brush gmw size is one inch procedure qualification testing the qualification weld was a groove weld is 0.75 inch thicker blade Table 451.1 and 450.2 outline the destructive test the requirement of the procedure qualification. What are the requirement after fin after finish the welding? What are the requirement of your testing? What to what way to do? One one six inch to three eight inch means three eight inch, but uh, more than three eight inch but less than three four inch. So this is different. One one sixteen inch to three eight three eight inch. We need two tension, two five side bend, two face bend, two road bend, and three eight inch, but three less than three four inch. So two tension, two tensile test, five side bend, two face bend, two road bend. If you go, this is four fifty one point two qw. It can be you can see there in ASME section nine, three by four inch to. Uh, 11 by 2 inch, three, uh, less than 11 by 2 inch is 2 tensile test and 4 side bend test and 11 by 2 inch to 16 is 2 tensile test and 4 side bend test. It is very important after the finish of welding, we need to check as per the weight signature, we need to do that now. Procedure qualification testing C details of multiple specification when coupon thickness is over C details. There is a how how will make the from one specimen how will cut your specimen the all this face bend side bend. So this is the details on the next page. Four side bend can replace the face and road bends when coupon thickness three by eight inch or greater. So I will tell the next page how they are going to special making. Plate you see one three four inch nineteen mm and over thickness and alternate from ten inch but less than nineteen mm thickness procedure qualification. So this is your plate. So this is the is mentioned the welding. So this is first we have to discard this plate, discard the upper side and the bottom side. And after that you see side bend specimen, reduce specimen, side bend specimen, side bend specimen, reduce specimen and the side bend specimen. And one side is reduced specimen, one side is tensile specimen. See here. So we have to make as per this, we have to cut this specimen for testing. It is for QW 150, 150 to describe the different types of tensile test sample, how to make the tensile test, how to make the specimen. It is mentioned in 
QW 1515 minimum request strength how, how from where you get the minimum request strength is the 436 QW 422 the tensor strength must exceed 58 KSI it should be must must be signal will be below 58 KSI KSI QW 160 test are the different types of bent test sample missing tolerance and no open disconnect in the world in hazard area greater than 18 inch provides some leeway. Procedure qualification testing is the bending. You can find QW 162 to describe the bend test jig that should be the use for qualification. How to do the bend test? How it will be the jig will be fixed? So all these things the QW 466.3 guide bend wrap around jig. The diameter of the mandal. You see the mandal here. This is the mandal and um, mandal how, how much ma uh, uh, what is the diameter should be in the mandal it's mentioned here which p number to which p number which mandal you can use the diameter of the material the diameter of the mandal is based on the material being tested which material is being tested the diameter of the mandal you have to select from here you see here this is the tensile stage this is the specimen procedure qualification test the tensile stage to specimen guide bend test is the fourth specimen qw 150 and guide bend test is the qw 160 no open well or has this going to get other than 180 inch value more than 180 inch it is going to get no open or old has this is the sample of welding procedure specification one. Let's finish now. If anything question, comment to me. I hope you will watch. Uh, you can uh, feeling nice. And if you think, uh, and very important thing is there. Don't subscribe. Uh, don't forget to subscribe this one. Because I am uh, every day. I am giving the new videos here uploading. So I think you will be feeling good. Thanks again for watching.